batteries are at 12.7 I had the inverter off and um, everything was off last night except for my fan so they're finally back up they're finally topped off and back to normal it was quite a hard time there we just flipped on the inverter I'm gonna do my video from yesterday but it was a really rough time there for a while uh, it was intense cold the batteries were cold I couldn't maintain the heat in the RV I finally got that under control with the insulated windows and I didn't have enough power so now with the wind turbine and the solar panels combined it's a little bit better I still have to be very sparing on my power usage until I get that second wind turbine up I think once that up, that is up, I'm going to be doing a lot better overall. The clock's wrong, it's actually um, 1 o'clock. But uh, 88 degrees in the, in the bedroom and 71 on the porch. Um, it's warm but it's not uncomfortable because it's a dry heat. And the wood stove has been burning all day on just a couple logs just really slow and gentle and that's how warm it is this uh, new insulation is making a huge tremendous difference problem is now I can't open the windows to let the heat out when it gets too hot <laughs> I don't know why cats like paper I had a piece of scrap paper sitting there and she just made herself comfortable you know I'm talking about you, don't you, baby cat? Huh? Are you comfortable? This is a uh, very large box. It says Windy Nation on it, so I know it's got something to do with wind. One guy that got me the uh, 350 watt turbine has ordered me something else, so this might be the other thing he had told me was coming. Let's see. These guys package this up tight. I haven't seen staples on the box in a long time. Oh, they at least put a uh, thing in there. What do we have here? Oh, yes. This is a frame. Let me see here. Get this paper out of the way. Oh, let me see what we got. Big piece of metal. This is a frame for an alternator to mount on. Oh wow, look at that nice bushing. Oh nice, so that sits, I'll have to look at which way is upright. There's a big plastic bushing, the pipe goes through here. I like that. Uh oh, hope the bolts aren't lost. That'd be bad. There's one single bolt. Where's it from? So there is Oh yeah, there's some loose stuff. I hope there's nothing missing. There's a bolt laying in there. Oh, there it goes. Okay, one bolt came apart. Not a big deal. So this is a, um, a mount for an alternator wind turbine. That'll be interesting to try. I do have an alternator. That'll be interesting to try out. Um, the way it looks, I guess, you pull an alternator up front, you mount this thing up in the air and put the tailpiece on, and you've got yourself a alternator wind turbine. Now, I don't have a PMA, a permanent magnet alternator. I have a standard alternator, but I'd sure be curious to see what happens if I tried it with the um, field widenings engaged. I can actually try it with just about any kind of a motor, to be honest. I can mount just about anything on there. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. This has definitely got me thinking. 
some experimentation going to be going on out here now. It's another thing about living off the grid, out in the middle of nature. You can't see both of them, there's two deer out there just looking at me. Out by the solar panel. There they go. Not very serried, really. Just sitting there. Actually, it's a uh, a doe on her phone from this year. They obviously know me. The baby flicks her tail and just walks along. I painted all of my parts today for the new wind turbine. Um, I might have to. That might be okay. I might have to touch them some spots. Yeah, the uh, paint had got on the wood, and then ripped off some of the uh, primer in places. Yeah, definitely got to touch up some plot spots on it. But, today I primered them. Tomorrow I can paint them. My new wind turbine. I even painted the alternator. Now I've done this with all of my Chevy engines. I've painted every alternator. It isn't going to hurt them at all to paint them. Actually, it's going to protect them from corrosion. Paint your alternator. So I uh, I got that all primered, ready to go. I'll put these in for the night so they don't get wet in case there's a dew. I highly doubt it, but just in case. And tomorrow I'll paint them. I just can't find my paint. What's up, big rooster? Birds follow me around. They're enjoying their freedom now that the hawks are gone. Even the hen is out today. Little girl. Today was dry, 25% uh, humidity and sunny, and 55 degrees. Quite a shocking change from the 30 degrees yesterday. So I opened up the windows and I had the door open trying to get some of that moisture out of here so I do that any chance I get now to try to dry out the inside of this thing so I didn't get much done except for trying to run around and, and gather my uh, my paint and get that turbine started um, the days are flying the days are short and um, flying by my solar is uh, holding up. I haven't finished staking down the panels because I discovered that the sun is not shining um, past some of these treetops very well. So I'm trying to figure out where else I might reorganize now that my water collection system is down. I might reorganize everything. I might reconsider everything. I might possibly move my rainwater collection system to a different location. Now that they're emptied out, they're completely empty now. I've got no reserve water now at all. Um, now that everything's shredded, I might move everything for winter. But I'm, I'm just considering possibilities right now. Uh, here's something else I did. I should have shown it on video. It was stupid of me. I hooked up this really awesome LED strip. 
the amount of many things he'd give me a little while back. Uh, still got to figure out if I want to use this set of wires. This was to an original fluorescent lamp set. Look how bright that kitchen is. This is just incredible. Look at how bright that lights up that kitchen area. Really nice. Now that's white LED light over here. Now over here I've got the warm white for the living room. So you've got a yellowish tint to everything in the living room. But that really lights up this place. It is incredible. It's pitch black. Bright as day. Look at that. So nice. That is just incredible. That's something I've had around here for a few weeks now. I've been wanting to do. Now I just took a Radio Shack switch. I've got the uh, bracket for this. I have to figure out where I put it. I bought it a while back and never got it mounted up. That's going to screw up on here. And it's just a flip switch. It's part of the reason I never mounted this. I didn't know how I was going to do this switch and make it look pretty because it's sort of hanging here sort of ugly. Uh, the the lights are amazing, but there's no way that I can hide the wires. So anyway, I figured I'd tie these up neatly in behind the bracket that this mounts to when I find the bracket now. But I did that, and uh, slowly I'm getting the RV like home. I just love how bright that is. Oh, it's incredible. That's just amazing. I definitely need an amp meter though to see how much uh, or watt meter, DC watt meter. See what I'm pulling out of here. I was actually sort of sick today. I uh, didn't really show it, but I um, was not feeling well at all today, so I kept it low key. I did a lot of work on the computer today. Um, just want to show you this new Google comment system is making a mess of my life. I've got over 5,700 comments now. I'm fighting a losing battle because the system is such a mess. Um, no more can I figure out what comment a video is from uh, in most cases. And now it's gathered into conversations and groups and ah, it's a mess. So I'm losing track. I might end up, uh, I might have to give up on comments for a while. I hate to do that because I value comments greatly, but I'm I'm losing it. I'm losing the battle here. But anyway, I spent a lot of time inside today trying to get a grip on my comments and just trying to figure out this new system. And please forgive me, people, for sounding bummed about this this time. Yes, anybody wants to say I'm a complainer. Now I'm complaining. Yes, I'm complaining. Uh, it's frustrating. But I'm trying. Trying to figure it out. That's a good thing to do when you're indoors all day, though, and uh, just trying to um, fight the weather. Well, there's an envelope here. It's marked fragile. Looks like it's been around a little bit. Hope it's all good. Let me see if I figure out where to open this from. Mm -hmm. See what we have here. Oh, whatever it is is in there. Let's see what we have. Something well wrapped. Uh, what's this? 
It's like a hub blade or a hub assembly. What do we have here? Oh! I am never again going to suffer for wind energy, I believe. Interesting. Well, I've got some serious experimenting going to do around here now, then. I know what that is now. I recognize that thing from the uh, previous wind turbines I've been opening. So that tells me what this is. This is going to be wind turbine blades. It is definitely wind turbine season here at the off grid project. Definitely. Ah, looks like aluminum. We have here one. See two. I think it's two, three, four, five, six aluminum blades. The mounting hardware. Well, I wonder if that'll fit my little guy. That's a curious idea. That would really cause him to kick up some power. Or a treadmill motor, I think. I'll have to see what I can do with that. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm not going to have any shortage of energy out here anymore. Well, thank you. It's 12 o'clock at night. I was um, going to go to bed, but I was playing with a cat first, and I um, knocked my fan out of the window and made an interesting discovery. I don't know if you can see this. I highly doubt you'll be... Oh, uh, maybe you can. See this little thing shaking in the breeze? This little piece of uh, whatever hanging on a cobweb? There's hot air flowing through this window. Now, I've designed this so, of course, everybody says heat rises. Yes, heat rises. The roof of the shed is right there, literally right there. There is no cold air around here at all. This is well insulated from this foam, inches of, of thick foam from the bed that I had cut to pieces. So there's no cold coming in. And I feel hot air flowing. I did not think it would work because I haven't yet drilled the hole under the bed for the return air. So without the fan I have hot air flowing. I'm going to try it tonight without the fan. Of course, here's why I have to be careful. Baby, no. 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 Psst. Baby, no. There you go. I was thinking she's going to make me a liar. I try to say how obedient she is, and she's going to make a liar out of me. I thought that was the end, right, on camera. Well, anyway... I'm going to try this tonight without the fan and hope that my cat doesn't escape through the wide open hole. That would be horrible if she tries to escape through there. But uh, let's see what happens tonight. There's air. There's hot air flowing. So, I just didn't expect it because there's no return air flowing into the stove shed. So I think tomorrow I'm going to drill that hole under the bed and I might have a natural convection flowing from the RV through the shed. I feel heat pouring through here right now. I might get natural, natural convection then without the fan. How great would that be? Save energy.